What's up, Pirates? Wraith and Jim here with Awaken TCG back with another banger video. So today we're going to be talking about the color green. Today we're going to talk about how this color is overpowered coming very soon in OP06. And we're going to be showing you guys a proof in OP05 why it's headed in that direction. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and start from the beginning. Let's let's go ahead and start an OP01. So uh, what do we notice here on, on some of these pie charts? So we have the results of a lot of tournaments in OP01, Romance Dawn, for um, a lot of these big tournaments. And as you can see, and as you would know if you played in OP01, Green Kid was king. Uh, in most of these tournaments, Kid is at the very least making up 50% uh, to 25% range. Um, never less than 25% it looks like. Uh, Green Kid was a force to be reckoned with. Uh, the leader effect was probably the best leader effect in the game at the time next to Law, but Law just didn't have enough cards yet. It kind of had untapped potential, and I don't think people were good enough at the game yet to actually maximize it to its full capability. But Yeah, 100%, 100%. I mean, it, the game was super fresh for a lot of these tournaments, and so everyone's still kind of getting down the basics of the game, really learning... Uh, uh, really learning the game and, and medicizing it and I think for for kids uh, case uh, Having two big swings late game was always almost impossible to block out of uh, You know, it, it had great cards to start off with uh, Especially the eight drop uh, kid the ACOS kid that thing trying to get rid of that thing was just, you know making people lose uh, not playing around certain cards and and you know kid on top of those defensive cards had just the best offense with its leader ability and so as you guys can see the results for op01 were just the ma a majority of, of of kid and that's basically how uh whitebeard was in 03. yep uh by the way the, we are using the eggman events website uh definitely the best place to go for the most accurate tournament results but anyways, let's go into OPO2 and look at how Green did in OPO2. So starting off, Green is doing pretty decent. You have tournaments like this with heavy Kinemon, heavy kid showings. Green is definitely still a factor in every single tournament. Obviously, Law is showing up, but we don't really count Law uh, as being credited for the color of Green being good. That's just kind of the Law leader doing its things you know this is not a sign that green is a good color when you see stuff like kinemon and kid winning tournaments that's when you know green's in a decent spot but yeah definitely going down in toppings here in these tournaments but still present in every single top 16 here yeah i mean with the release of opio 2 came white beard which is uh you know every, everyone agrees that it is the best leader because you have an extra thousand on your power at all times and you get an extra card from your life and so uh the birth of of whitebeard and and the support that it got um as well as law and zoro getting insane support uh for red i think uh opo2 definitely completed red as a color because like even now in opo4 you still see law not running a single o3 card a single o4 card um some decks might run a tech card here and there but uh, the majority of lawless will run opio opio 2 and below uh so yeah for opio 2 we definitely saw a decline in mono green decks and so kind of a sign that okay you know this color might die off uh and then opio 3 came and you know it definitely confirmed our findings 100 percent decent in opio 2 but let's go ahead and check out what happened in opio 3 so if you played in OPO3, you know, there was not a ton of green. This was kind of the death of green. Uh, you're seeing basically all red. OPO3 was kind of the most stale in that aspect, where most tournaments are just kind of red with the spice of like black and yellow, maybe. You'll see kids now and again, like in these tournaments, but it's usually only one out of top 16 for the most part. Green kind of died off by now, and nobody considered it to be one of the top five colors anymore. Sorry, top five leaders anymore if you're counting Kid and Kinemon. But probably at this point, behind red, yellow, and black, and maybe even blue right now, it was probably only better than purple in OPO3. Yeah, and I mean, Kinemon had very, very few actual tops. Um, kid you would still see one or two here and there 
as you can see there at the Corti CG Pasadena Regionals, there was a kid. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, no green mono green leaders definitely died off, and and it, it's not it's not even due to the fact that the leaders were bad necessarily, because the leader effects are still decent. It's just uh, with the release of OPO3 came no uh, support for the existing green leaders. Um, we got east blue green cards that supported um, Arlong and that supported Kuro. And Kuro did have some decent showings, uh, but nothing crazy, no nothing ever to crack into that tier one sort of to speak of like, oh, this deck is it. No, some people uh, definitely early on got some nice toppings uh, with Kuro. But besides that, uh, you know the existing green leaders didn't get nothing new and so therefore pushing them back even further for a whole nother set yeah most of the green cards that came out in opa 3 were leader locked to east blue type leaders so if those leaders aren't good green is getting nothing in opo 3 and that's kind of how it worked out and we are currently in opo 4 uh the consensus is not completely out obviously green purple doflamingo is very strong uh, don't get me wrong, definitely uh, breaching top 7, top 8 decks, but it is nowhere near the best of the best. Uh, that is, And that is basically the only green we've seen, minus the random kid that won that tournament, but I'm going to go ahead and say that's a complete outlier. Yeah, 100%. Now, for OPO4, where we're currently at, we, we're, you know, we're still seeing Zoro, Law, Whitebeard uh, be the front runners. Um, I mean, red is still just too good of a color with not a lot of answers for it. Uh, we know f uh, from what we've been seeing in the Asia meta for OPO5, it's kind of slowly going to get better uh, as far as uh, the red showings go. Uh, but for now, we still got to get used to, uh, you know, playing these top three decks, which are the, these these red powerhouses. Uh, so, yeah, green is for, for right now, it's in a, in a pretty bad spot. But like I said at the beginning of the video, green is definitely uh, the stocks are rising so definitely invest in in cards that you feel like will will have a bigger impact and maybe we might even make a video on it but green is definitely uh rising on the come up and and there's a lot of leaders that are gonna you know come out very soon for opo6 um but let's go ahead and uh show off one more thing let's go ahead and show off the uh, opo5 uh recent toppings for for one of the new green leaders yep so Green stocks are on the rise with this new Uta leader. If you have not heard, this new Uta leader is absolutely insane. As you can see, some fantastic showings, winning multiple flagships 5-0. This leader is maybe signaling the return of green as the best color in the game. And for those of you that don't know what this leader does, it's going to be Dawn X1 when attacking once returned. You can reveal the top card of your deck, and if it's a film type card, you can just add it to your hand. So basically, if you build your deck as an all film deck, which people are doing, as you can see, about 80% of the time, you are just drawing a card for swinging six every single turn. The card advantage this deck generates is just what's winning games. You have way too much counter in hand for anyone to ever kill you. And you have way too many characters on board with things like Luffy and Brook for you to ever actually not be able to have a good board state. Yeah, definitely. Some of these combos that uh, the, the Uta can land are pretty insane now that these two drop laws are actually being ran. Right. So turn one, you play down the law. Turn two, you tap one, you get the law back into hand. You can play a Nami for free. Right. Now you can use Nami effect uh, turn two which you were going to use regardless for four dawn but instead of for two and now you can attach two to your uta swing seven and you get another draw on top of that so that's 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 three total draws for your second turn in the game and you're swinging 7k for the first life so it's like like obviously it's a no-brainer right like you know there's certain things that this deck is capable of that hasn't been able to like been able to have been done before uh, just off the card generation that it, it, the potential it has just with that uta leader uh, effect and so yeah like you said you know you can always protect your units on board because you're always going to have enough cards and resources to do that and next up we're going to talk about what why we think green is going to be on the rise so out of the new six leaders in opo6 three of them are green hordy perona and yamato Three out of six, half of the new leaders are going to be the green color, which means there is going to be a lot of green support that is going to be coming uh, our way in OPO6, as well as the Uta we talked about. 
and not to mention the Zoro Sanji leader, which is also a green leader that's getting a lot of good support in the new starter deck that will be coming out soon. So I think just the massive amount of green being thrown into the game is going to be a testament why green can't be bad. I mean, if, if all these new cards are coming out, there is no way that green is in a bad spot come OP06. Yeah, exactly. I feel like, you know, we have five leaders coming out uh, at the brink of OP06 being released. And so I feel like, uh, you know, obviously we don't have the majority of the support yet for these uh, leaders, but the leader effects will warrant very good support. So uh, we're very optimistic and, you know, it's, we're getting, obviously the Uta has released now, but we're getting on top of that four new leaders for OP06. And so one of them is bound to be S tier, uh, aside from from potentially this Uta leader uh, almost, uh, you know, making a case for being tier one as well. But uh, yeah, we have a lot of new cards that need to uh, be revealed. And so we'll keep you guys up to date. But yeah, personally, that's why we believe that, you know, green is definitely going to be on top again, like it was back in OP01, how we just showed you guys how Kid was running rampant. I feel like some of these leaders uh, might follow suit and just, you know, we'll have green leaders running rampant as well in OP06. Yep, yeah, and if green is the new red, I don't know if that's going to be more fun or less fun. I guess we'll have to see. But last but not least, we're going to go and sh uh, go ahead and show you the first green card that is a bit broken, in my opinion, that's coming in OP06. All right, and here we have Ryuma, the undead samurai from the Thriller Bark arc. He is going to be a 4-6 vanilla stat line with no counter. And on play, he's going to KO up to one of your opponent's arrested characters with a cost of 4 or less. And on KO. So basically, this card can KO 2 for 1 as well as being a vanilla body on play. If this is the green cards we have to look forward to, oh my, green is going to be so good. Yeah, like, uh, obviously you don't mind having this as a brick in your hand because it's so good and you're always going to play it uh, right away. Not only do you get the chance to KO something uh, right away, which is basically X-Drake, but on steroids, not, you're, now your opponent has to uh, be aware that if they swing, if they have two units on board, both four cost four or less and they swing one and then you block out then they're never going to swing for the other one because that first unit is going to get ko'd and so it just changes up your your opponent's whole game plan with this card depending on uh how lines play out but this is basically a two in one this is two x drakes and one card uh with a better stat line uh that that 1k counter does not even matter because you're playing this card uh so i i don't know this thing seems pretty insane to me and you know hopefully the cards that are following uh that are going to be revealed following this uh are just as good and you know th that's going to make me happy as uh the green player uh definitely what i want to see yeah not to mention in black and green perona coming up this card will be able to ko more things than a four or less as you can do cost reduction and ko tons of things on your opponent's board as well as in yellow and green Yamato, this card will be searchable off Momonosuke as it has the Wano Country archetype. So definitely a lot to look forward to and green is looking absolutely fantastic coming OP06. And that is a good thing to know. It does have Wano Country, which um, we failed to mention at the start, but that gives this card just that extra bit of versatility. Like you said, it can be searched with Momonosuke, not only Thriller Bark, but it has that versatility to be in some of these other decks, um, such as the Wano Leaders, which is, is insane to me. Not to mention, Kinemo. This card mm -hmm. could be played on your three dawn turn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Insane. Kinemo return? Um, I don't want to say that, but you never know. Hey, if there's more good green Wano cards and like we have an Odin that we can play at seven dawn, if we get a 10 dawn that we can play at nine dawn that is broken, you never know. All right, Pirates, thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of this video with us. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying these uh, more informative videos that we have been releasing. We're trying to keep up and show you guys all the good new stuff that has been uh, re being revealed. Uh, anyways, uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We're so close to that 1000 mark which means big giveaway for you guys. So uh, you don't definitely don't want to miss out on that. And make sure to like this video. It'll help us out, 
help us out a lot and make sure to comment down below what you think about uh kind of our thoughts on this video what we talked about if you have anything you want to share we'll definitely be in the in the comment section re replying to you guys uh, with that being said you guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys on the next video peace